It's the most timeless underdog story in all of history. David versus Goliath, a shepherd boy that no one believed in, looking up at a nine-foot giant that everyone believed was undefeatable. It's a story we apply to business, to sports, to politics, to a wide assortment of challenges and struggles that each of us face in our lives. And in every version of this story, we want to see ourselves as David. It's easy to think, if I could just be like David, I could fight the giants in my life. The giant of fear, the giant of rejection, the giants of anger and addiction. We all have a giant, that's the bad news. But here's the good news, we are not David. The story of David is not a story about us. It's ultimately a story about Jesus, the one who has slayed not just one giant, but every giant. For all time, for all people, Jesus is the ultimate giant slayer. This is the message at the center of Goliath must fall. There's a remarkable amount of freedom in realizing that Jesus has knocked down your giant for your good and for his glory. And when we begin to live in that freedom, not only will we see that Goliath could fall, we see something even more extraordinary. Goliath must fall.